They are leaders, but they are not the grassroots. The grassroots live in Gaza and the Palestinian territory. So they have to listen to the grassroots. It's not about organization. It's about 100 million now in Gaza and another few millions living in West Bank. You have to listen to those people. How did Hamas came to, to its position in the government? By election. And this election was supervised by European and by American, including ex-president Jimmy Carter. And they said, this is democratic election. So the question, how could you have terrorist organization elected democratically? They have to revise this contra contradiction. This means the whole people are terrorists, and it doesn't work. You cannot accuse the people as terrorist uh, people. So uh, this is from one aspect. The other aspect, politics is not about labels. And this is the mainstream uh, uh, politics during the last two decades. Put labels, put labels, and black and white, and good and bad. It doesn't li work like this, whether we like them or not, whether we accept what they do, uh, or not, whether we agree with each other or not, at the end, the question, who influences the situation? They are influential, they are strong, they have the support of the people from outside Hamas. Only 15% of their voters who said yes for them a few years ago and became in the government, uh, only 15% of them are members in Hamas. The others are, uh, what do you call them, non-partisan uh, uh, people. But there's also support clearly from Iran. There's support clearly from your government to Hamas, yes? The support is political. We support their cause. They're asking for independent states. And as far as I know that the whole world except the independent Palestinian state. Uh, but so far, nothing has happened. This is the first. Second, they've been under attack from the Israeli, even during the truce, even during the truce uh, by the Israeli airplane for the last few months, 40 Palestinians were killed. So they have a cause, they are uh, under the, uh, the aggression, not vice versa. And actually what they do is they respond, they don't start. So we support their cause, we support the Palestinian uh, uh, state, independent Palestinian state, and we support that uh, their position uh, as they defend themselves. You think there is a deal to be made? They are ready. They were, they were ready, they are ready, but today the factors have changed, so the requirement will change at the same time. We cannot talk about the same condition like what happened a few years ago. Otherwise, we'll keep moving from a ceasefire to another conflict, from a, another uh, breaking of this uh, ceasefire, and, and so on. And the more blood you have, the more difficult to talk about peace will be. So how do we stop the fighting today? Today we stop with Israeli accepting to stop the aggression and Hamas to accept in, in return to stop uh, any action, any military action, then the, the Israeli withdraw outside Gaza and accepting lifting the embargo. Of course, these are the principles. You have a lot of uh, details uh, and uh, procedures re related to these principles should be discussed. But in your communications with Hamas, you're telling me they are ready to stop. Yeah. Yes. Of course, if, if the Israeli will stop, they are ready.